His questions have been answered over 4 million times. His courses are some of the most popular on Coursera. Thousands of Ohio State students have used his online materials. And indeed, 37 degrees Celsius is the same thing as 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. But how did Professor Jim Fowler get started? What led to the rise of Muculus? Now, we'll go behind the numbers with Jim Fowler. <laughs> From an early age, Jim Fowler loved math, an interest that would soon blossom into helping others. I've been building uh, little bits of education technology, I guess, for, for quite a while. Uh, when I was in college, I built something called Chicken Grade, which was a, a terrible online grade book for, for my own classes. Um, I built this math clicker that used mobile phones, uh, which we used here for, for some time. And I'd been filming my lectures for a while, partly just for my own edification so I could see myself teaching. Um, and sort of what, what the classroom looked like. Um, but then eventually I started filming these sort of shorter pieces for sort of fun enrichment things. Um, the first thing was a, a tensor products video. So there's been some discussion in class about exactly what a, a tensor product is. So here's a quick introduction. But like many artists, his early days held challenges. I initially worked on uh, trying to build, I think, a very complicated system using um, a graphics tablet. To, to do screen caps and, and sort of you know capturing my handwriting that way, I didn't really like how that how that looked uh, all that well. Structure of and then the he found his footing. Then we really tried to make something much much more lo-fi. We point a camera at, at a desk with paper and just draw with with markers, and then where it's appropriate pedagogically, we'll superimpose some some computer generated graphics on top of that. But I really want to try to, to give it this sort of lo-fi flavor to try to convince people that you know they can do this themselves. You know they've got pens and paper themselves, and they can sort of play along at home. These days, there seems to be no stopping the online calculus train. This stuff gets used in a in a bunch of different places. So we, we use this stuff in, in Coursera primarily. I mean that's sort of the, like, this the most obvious place where this stuff appears. Uh, but all the videos are on YouTube, uh, and the textbook and the homework system appears at muculus.osu.edu. Uh, we've got uh, two courses now in, in iTunes U, and then we're building a, a new platform, Chimera. But Dr. Fowler doesn't claim to have done it all on his own. The two people who've done the, the most sort of direct work on, on Muculus have been Bart Snap, who uh, primarily led the, the textbook project, and uh, Steve Gupkin, who primarily led the, the exercise uh, development. Two big ways that ASC Tech has helped me, uh, one is with the uh, network backend. Uh, you know, I don't have any experience with setting up a website at scale, um, but something like Muculus, you know, when we first deployed that, you know, we get 50,000 hits on day one, um, and I don't, I don't know, you know, how to set up a database to really be able to handle that, and I think ASC Tech, uh, you know, really, really came in for me to be able to set that thing up and sort of diagnose some of the problems that, that I was having with, with that. And the second thing is being able to provide some, some technology. You know, I also, not only do I not know much about sort of network infrastructure, but I also don't know anything about cameras or, or photography or filming. And ASC Tech has, has been super helpful both in, in providing cameras and also reminding me about things like white balance. And he's always looking for those new surprises. The thing that really surprised me is that sort of the public at large or the, the sort of lifelong learners that are using our content really ended up connecting uh, with some of the more kind of enrichment activities that, that we set up. You know, for example, I remember there's, there's one short video about uh, p-adic numbers. Even nonsense can be meaningful. And I was amazed at the kind of reaction that we got. You know, people were really excited about, about this particular video, which, you know, sort of fits into the Calculus 2 sequence and series story, you know, only tangentially. Um, but I think it really resonated with, with people as kind of an example of something that was really cool about mathematics. What does the future hold for Jim Fowler and online teaching? You can count on at least some of it being online. <laughs> <laughs>